Hey everybody, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We had a massive battle here. Um, oh god, that was big. <laughs> if you didn't see the episode before, uh, you have to. You basically have to go and see it. Uh, I could hear it in your voice. You were like, you were like, I don't know if we could do this, but we, we did it. I was, yeah, I was scared. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I thought this was, this could have been sketch, but we handled it. We got a, this cool, um, you, you got a spell cast on you or whatever on, on Shadowheart that let you like run through and do all this cool radiant damage. So that yeah, was, yeah, it was guardians. Um, that was from, um, our druid friend there. I can't remember her name right now. Right? She cast? No, I cast it on myself. What are you talking about? You Spirit did? Spirit Guardians. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, right, yeah. I remember it being surprising because it was like... I did. I thought it was just like a uh, like an AoE explosion around her. I didn't realize it stayed on her for 10 turns. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Hello? Playtime's over, pet. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress. <laughs> Moonrise Towers. And you're getting them out. I think we should go to Moonrise Towers. Yeah. What gives you that impression? Every, every Basically every quest ever? This devil is so powerful. How did they manage to get captured? Well... Your playmate's wasting precious time. Let's see about getting her priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. I think she just called me now, stupid. be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mazora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This oh, will be the best okay. chance to negotiate Will out of his pack. Oh, that oh. nice roll there. Yeah. Can we see what that check is? Uh, no, you can't. Like, I'm curious to see the roll for that. Might be in the combat log afterwards. But... Yeah, afterwards. Yeah. We'll rescue your asset on one condition. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Wills, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Oh, it, this is kind of cool. I wonder if she can hear this, though. Like, maybe she has the ability to do this, too. I don't know. We could just say you end Will's pact and go your separate ways. Yeah, but he might not... Oh, it's up to you. It's, this is yeah, totally yeah. your call, but he might... If you say, trust me, and he replies with, like, don't do it, then you might want to respect that, He might that know too. something. Like, yeah. At the same time, you're kind of speaking for him, but I don't know. Okay. Trust me. Will relaxes, and your connection fades. Okay. Okay. Zora, we'll rescue this asset if you release Will from his pact. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Okay. Go. Oh, God. Well, you got to do intimidation. <laughs> oh, history. Interesting. Minus one, of course. Yeah, yeah. It might be tough to intimidate. Um, Maybe, but also like, it could be those. It could be a situation where she's like all talk, right? Because she did say she needs this basically more than uh, Will would or what what have you. Yeah, yeah she's desperate. Yeah, she's desperate, but, right? It's maybe your best chance. Uh, tinge with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. Yeah. 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 We could always let the cult infect the asset. I bet they'd make a loyal thrall. Oh. What's happening oh, I here? Can't, I can't add the um, Shadowhearts thing. All I could add was advantage with uh, Thalmaturgy. Yeah, because I think because we're at camp, this is like an individual check. She's talking to you directly about Will, like, you know. 
I know yeah. that I know that Shadowheart's there, but it seems very. You can see the roll. Nope. Okay, it's fourteen, and I have advantage in plus three. Oh, you got this, bro. Just roll, uh, roll an eleven. It's easy. Twenty. A five and a one. <laughs> Well, we got inspiration, right? Yeah, we've got four, I think. Do we know? I don't know. I can't see the screen, so. What does it say? Yeah, we've got four. Roll again. Yeah, yeah. 16! There we go, baby. That's D&D, baby! Does D&D have inspiration? Yes. It yeah, does, yeah. Eh? That's a That's a big thing in 5th edition. They Incredible. made everything inspiration. You actually um, think you hold oh, the winning sorry. hand. Fine. I'll play your game, but I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Hmm, interesting. Clause F, section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. See, that's, I don't know, like, she's the devil, right? Or a devil? <laughs> a devil. Right? So you're kind of like, yeah, sure, she's going to, like, you can't trust anything she says. What basically. I meant to say, I thought you were talking about advantage, but yeah, that is, uh, inspiration is a thing in D&D also. No, it's kind I, of like at the discretion of the uh, DM to be like, oh, you're playing, you did a cool play, I'm going to give you inspiration, which will give you a reroll or something. Yeah. No, I'm very familiar with, um... The advantage side of things, I was, mo I am talking specifically about inspiration, where you can re-roll events. Yeah, yeah Asterian wants to too. talk. This is exciting. Yeah. Um, now, another thing I wanted to bring up. So we got an update for the Blade of Frontiers. Mizora appeared in the form of rejection to inform us that the Absolute Cult abducted an infernal asset of some importance to the Archdevil Zeriel. We should find and release them. Will's very soul hangs in the balance. So, for stuff like this. I would like as much as possible that we bring along, like, the person. Like, so we should bring in Will for that. Um, mm -hmm. And even, like, I know we have Lizale now, but we should probably bring in uh, Gail soon. I don't know how soon you want to do that, but I would like to get those guys involved. Yeah, and I feel like this is Shadowheart's you know, area, too. It's like we I want, we like want to have three different people in this. Yeah. Like we're two souls walking the same path. Every step we walk trails blood. Killing is an instinct for us. I respect you for that. I would keep the murders in our own camp to a minimum. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah. we're very much on the same page. Noted. Noted. Um, why, thank you. Wait, you already rejected it. I you. just worry that we're not nah. considering all our options when it comes to our uninvited guests. How many people are infected with them? do you think hundreds thousands and they're not just goblin trash there are powerful yeah. people in the worm's thrall he's not wrong whoever's waiting for us at moonrise towers controls it all but if we can take that control from them imagine the power we'd wield are you thinking it <laughs> are you thinking at all that it's Ketherick? Um, that's like leading all of this or has like this level of control or no because I don't think he's I don't think he's at the top of okay. the totem pole no. yeah fair um, if we could take that control from them imagine the power we'd wield oh boy mm -hmm. yeah sounds like fun until we all turn into mind flares that's just the thing if we control the parasites then we can order them not to change us all the power with none of the tentacles. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity before us. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and enjoy a little world domination on the side. <laughs> you can't tell me that doesn't sound fun. He's He is definitely speaking to my dark urges. It does sound fun. I knew I was right about you. It's so good to find a kindred spirit. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this uh, moonrise, but I'm feeling optimistic. Yeah. Um. 
Do you want to jump into some uh, history with him? Yeah, if you're down for that, I'd love to, yeah. Absolutely. About you biting me before. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're <laughs> looking for another nibble. Hmm. There's also the uh, thing on his back, right? Yeah, exactly. The the runes that were carved into him. Um, well, how do we feed you in the future? This is one thing, like, from a gameplay thing that I have to start focusing on a bit more. Because he gets that nice benefit. And he can go in and, like, if people are sleeping or he's sneaking, he can take that vampire bite and not do damage to them. Okay. Um, so that's something we should try. But I need to know how we're going to feed you in the future. No innocence. You have my word. Only villains that we need to kill anyway. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth included. So, and if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. Yeah, agreed. So That's you can do it during combat, too. You can. It's just like... I should do it's it weak. in his basically his first combat after a uh, rest, right? That would oh, yeah, because it'll last until the next rest. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, can't feed on people, animals only. No, I'm cool with, like, enemies. I'm not against <laughs> you feeding on me, but only if we talk about it first. No. I like that. <laughs> I'm the one that's feeding off the animals here, okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Glad we could agree. As am I. I'm starting to feel a little peckish already. Okay, what's your history? Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was oh. a slave. Just asking. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. Okay. How does one become a vampire exactly? I, I I do love vampire origin stories in different like mediums. Um, mm -hmm. Like sometimes you just get bit and you're a vampire. Sometimes they have to like fully drain you. Sometimes they have to like. There's a bunch of different ways. So it's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that. You're free and a true vampire. In theory? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. So who, we don't know who his, like, master is, I guess. It was that, he mentioned, uh, the Tsar? Tsar? Uh, I'm just looking in the log here. One sec. Oh, it's at the bottom, my bad. I was a slave, a vampire spawn kept by the Tsar family. So it's a family of vampires, maybe? I guess so, yeah. What do you think's at Moonrise Towers? Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. Okay. Okay, let's see what his update is here. Mm-hmm. We met Raphael at the Last Light Inn, and Asterion asked about the scars Cazador left on his back. So maybe it's Cazador? I can't, I don't know. Raphael seemed interested. He said he'd think about Asterion's request and see us again soon. Okay, I don't know why that updated here, but whatever. Okay. Uh, all right. So anybody else to chat? I don't think so, eh? Uh, no one's asking to chat. Yeah, let's head out. Yeah. Someone still wishes to speak with you. Okay, hold up. We have Jahira here. To find a way forward. Oh yeah, but she's just got her whole her own spot, eh? Three. Yeah. Can you just mosey around camp and see if there's somebody else? Because it says somebody else wants to talk. Yeah. Oh, over here. Okay, I'm coming. 
Who is that? Oh, it's Will. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, okay. Also, um, yeah, that's perfect. Go ahead, I'll dive in whenever. Okay. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the Hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the Blade stands for. Such an asshole. Um... I thought you were supposed to hunt devils. Doesn't this violate your contract? Maybe we could use that. The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the infernal, the demonic, and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. Okay. It's not going to happen. You mean too much to the Sword Coast. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming, plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. I can see Karlak being really keen to free him because she was a, a slave as well, right? Mm -hmm. The cultists have taken your father to Moonrise Towers. Florix confirmed it. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise. Can we trust Floric? I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked father from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The Counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tear's heartbeat, hmm. as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Father's at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. She always, like, she, I didn't get any weird vibes from her, so. Mm hmm The cult must have some reason for taking your father, but what? They want violence, they want control, they yeah, want Baldur's yeah. Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravenguard to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin, unless we put a stop to it. They're sowing chaos. Mm. To Moonrise, then. We can't let the Absolute take Grand Duke Raven God. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. Okay. That's good. Okay. And the only other person I want to talk to out here, I just want to touch base with Halson and then maybe touch base with um, Jahira. Okay. The shadow curse is upon us. As far as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. Yeah, okay. So. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we found a flaming fist who escaped the Shadowfell, but he's dead. Or we ask about Thaniel. He's muttering something about, about a boy named Thaniel. He is? Then I must see him. Uh oh. Insensible or not, he knows something. He's dead. Thaniel is no ordinary <laughs> child. He is the very spirit of this land. If this fist knows where he is, then perhaps we can save him. Save everything. I will go to see him at once. Oh, no. Join me when you can. <laughs> no, Halson. No. no. Halson, no. Halson, no. No. Halson. Baby, come back. Halson, no. Talk to him. Talk to him. Oh, my God. According to Halson, if we want to lift the Shadow Curse, we must find Nathaniel, the spirit of the land. And Halson is just leaving to, uh... It sounded like he was going to see the guy that's dead. Yes. Right? I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> Me neither, bro. I'm <laughs> just walk, watching him walk. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'll go talk to Jahira, and then... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay. That's funny. Okay, speed it up here, Dark Urge. Let's... There we go. Oh, as in water. It's hard to walk in water, apparently. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Halson. 
I suppose this place is no worse for wear than my last lodgings. Though I cannot say the same for myself, I fear. The battle... ...the escape after... ...I might need to lick my wounds a while... ...before I can be of use to you. Um... ...do you want to talk about what happened last night? <laughs> time for words will come when we lay my harpers to their final rest. I owe them that. Fair. But first... ...I owe them justice. Moonrise must fall. So what now? You know your task. Catherick Thorm clawed his way free of death. Find out how. So we can send him back. Okay. Okay. This is time to rest. Go to bed. Yeah. Let's go. We'll see if we have a dream here. Uh, Could be time for one, eh? Could be, yeah. The major event. But they're overusing my camp supplies again, these bastards. Oh, yeah. Someone said to, like... I know. Click it again or something? I did that, but it didn't do anything. So I'll just... Lies! I'll just unclick. Wait, dude. Um, have you ever seen a YouTube comment be wrong? No. They're always right. Exactly. Love you guys. Not wrong. Just sometimes... Just sometimes misguided. That's all. But we're all like that. We all make mistakes. The voice of the absolute here we go. is strong here. I'm getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did Say a that great again. thing, saving those people in the grove. Uh, do you have options here? It wasn't even a choice. They needed my help. Yeah, it yeah. seemed like my help. I, I've got four choices. Probably so, the same stuff. Huh? Yeah, probably. So should we make the same choices for each of our dream visitors, or how do you want to do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Eh? I think that so. Makes sense to me. Um, I think we would go with the one or two. Yeah, I think the first one. They needed our help. Like we're, yeah. I mean, we're generally good. Uh, and we're generally. Our intentions are good. Our intentions are good. Yeah. That, so let's go with one. Not everyone would have helped. It just doesn't stop. Oh, I failed we at perception. We are being bombarded Same. by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. Do you think it'll be a dream visitor boss fight? <laughs> Could be. See, this is why I don't think uh, Ketherick Thorm is the, the big baddie, right? It's, it's there's some godlike power. Yeah, no, no, sure. It's, he's just a minion. Um, critical fail on perception check. So I rolled a, a... You rolled a one. And I failed. I rolled a six. We needed a 14. So that is cool that it's in the log um, for those perception checks. There was one that you wanted to look up before, too, right? Yeah, I can't remember. Was it uh, the thaumaturgy one? Uh, succeeded a perception check. It was a five. You rolled a two plus three in proficiency plus one wisdom. So that's what you got. Cool. Let's hit the road, buddy. Let's hit the road. Jack. You know that song? <laughs> Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no, no more, more, no more, no more, more, no more. Let's find Helsin. He's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, let's go. He okay. was going to go see the dude. So let's find that was over the here, other right? dude. Yeah, he's there. He's it's actually... A shadow Curse. Yeah, bro, he's taking damage. Holy shit, hold on. He's taking damage. Holy shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <sighs> Holy, he has 11 <laughs> health. <laughs> Wait, what happens if he dies? Bro has, is just game? Bro has 11 health. If he, he dies? Dead? Uh, I wonder... Well, I don't know, but he's not dead. Hold on, I have an idea. Um, okay. Don't do not do anything. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm going to cast light on him. <laughs> Save failed. <laughs> You're lit, Helson. You're lit. 
Did he try to like stop you from casting light? I guess he like did a saving throw against it. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's cool. Um. Okay. Oh, I'm so getting a whole bunch of good stuff here in these pouches. What, what are you doing? There's oh. like all these pouches around. Really? What kind of stuff? Like a scroll of blur, a health potion? Oh hell yeah, dude! Pick up all the pouches. Uh, this is not. I guess Halson's not gonna say we're stealing. I don't seem to care. Oh, I'm, I'm encumbered again. <laughs> Shocker. Okay, let me send a bunch of this stuff. Boop, 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 be doo, boop, be doo, boop, 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 boop. Okay, send to camp. Bye. Uh, let me talk to him. Okay. What news? Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so we found that thing on the flaming fist. See what you can learn from it. It might reveal something about his actions before the curse. Then we may find means to wake him. <laughs> See, I was feeling like maybe we broke this quest the way that he was reacting in camp. Yeah, right? He's like, I'm going to talk to him. Uh, maybe maybe I can help him or something. Yeah, and yeah. he's like, we may he's sitting right next to him. <laughs> and he says, maybe we'll find a way to wake him. So, yeah, maybe it is broken. But um, let's speak with Dead. Let's speak with Dead. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, speak with that. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, wait, we said we weren't going to... Oh, we got to stop that. That's going to be... Yeah. <laughs> That's really annoying. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that just, this is the way I say okay. Hopefully it works. I keep thinking it's Shadowheart that has the speak with dead for some reason. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Okay. Uh, who are you? What are you doing here? What happened to you? Get to the meat. Yeah, I guess we know who they are, right? Yeah, he's Art. And kind of, we know that they, he was spying? Yeah. Okay. Curse. Okay. Darkness. All right. Fang. Fang, you have to help. Fang, you. Good. I'm looking for Thaniel. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Okay. Shadowfell. Shifts. And changes. But where Thaniel is. Always smells. Of lavender. So he's in my toilet because uh, my poo smells like lavender. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> what? No. Do you what use, are you doing here? Do you use here? those uh, scent coverings? Do you use those little like uh, poo, those poo undoes or whatever they're called? I don't. I don't I, think anything's called a poo undo, but they should actually name that. That's <laughs> actually. Trademark. That's actually. You know what? A Let's great stop name. the video right now. And we'll just. We'll just trademark that. We got it. We got it. Okay. S somebody out there um, would be buying poo undoes. Anyway. Get focused. What what are we doing here? <laughs> what are you doing? Here? Investigating Catherine Thorne. Rumors of Sharon Gull. Worse than we thought. So we had read something or someone said something about a cult in a that see that clarified things for me because I thought Ketherick Thorm sent him okay to spy but I think guess it was more complicated than that okay what can you tell me about Ketherick Thorm he is brutal cares for nothing except his daughter he's got a weakness Who is your daddy and what does he do? Heart, of the flaming fist. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. No, I don't. I don't recognize that. Okay, so, uh, that's good. That's good. We got information. Let me talk mm -hmm. to Halson and see if we can, like, relay this. Okay. What news? I found a writ. Okay, we out. Tell Halson what you learned from speaking to the corpse. Oh, the fist. That's, that's cool. That is what I needed to know. It should be a cause for joy, but 
That poor man didn't have to die. Yeah, Larian did not I let us I just down. wanted to say, like, I played so many RPGs, and, like, they're usually very strict. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing the job they've done that you can... Different things can happen, and they still resolve properly. Yeah, because so it seems like uh, he essentially... Um, there, he he didn't know that he was dead. Like, there was some weirdness there, right? Like, because he's even sitting next to him. is like, I need to talk to him. And you're like, well, he's pretty sleepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, there was something there, but that's fine. Uh, his existence was worth worse than death. Now he's at peace, and we have what we need. True. But are we still deserving? Only time and nature can tell. Oak Father willing, we will soon lift the curse from this place. But I suspect a shadow will linger here because of what was done to that man. Meet me at the lakeshore and be prepared. What comes next will be perilous. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh well, he has a torch. Here. He's lit. Wait, what? he's on fire. Is he carrying it oh, for God. you? Oh, he's God, not is he dying? It. Is he dying? No, no, I, I imbued him with light, dude. He's good. And he has a lit torch on his back. What the? <laughs> How come he's closing? Halson just he he he, he, is, he does his own thing. He's a, he does his own thing. He's his own man. Hey, greater healing potions and a pouch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does Art um, have anything? You had the idea of keeping a pouch and then putting like uh, books in there and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking of starting to pick up backpacks and just having my inventory more organized. I don't hate the idea. Like, yeah. You could pretty quickly just grab all your books, shift click them into that pouch. Yeah, dude, I'm doing that. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, nice. So, I have this incandescent staff that I've been running, by the way, or I, I so we just found it in that last fight, I think, that big fight. Mm -hmm. Um, so I guess I can use this. Let's make sure that's equipped. We don't need the torches. Okay, so you wanted to check out the basement. Lead me, lead, yeah, lead right. the way. Yeah, there right, there's a thing in the cellar, right? Yeah. That was, um, like... Over here, over here. We either heard it or read something about a cellar and, like, the sketchiness. See, this is where I would love to be able to just, like, do a search. Yes. With all the, like, documents that we found in all the books. Just, like, search through all of them and be able to find a reference. Like, just cellar or whatever, you know? Yeah, honestly, I am surprised that, um... Well, you can't. Like, the books should definitely be searchable. Yeah, okay, it should so just this... be a thing in the uh, in the journal page or whatever. Yeah, th so there's this dock area, like a boathouse area, but no boat. Right. And then uh, there's some steps down here going to the cellar, I think. Okay, let's check out here first, and then okay. we'll go down. So we haven't been back here at all. Doesn't look like there's much of anything. Actually, it's weird. There's like a whole... Well, this is like a proper barricade, like for a fight. Um, but I guess they were defending this place over time, maybe? Yep. Before they had the big bubble. Is there anything else on this side? Did you check this already? Seems pretty fair. Oh, oh, I see. Some okay. clothing. It leads up to the other side. Okay, so let's go down. Okay. I got some rotten foods and stuff. Yeah, me too. <laughs> some clothing. Standard stuff down here. Last light in cellar. Okay. So what are we looking for? There's a uh, last light detention cell key. Mm -hmm. We have A is for Adus, Azuth and other gods. 32 gold. I'll take that. There's a whole bunch of like random stuff to open and grab. It's probably junk, but you know us. I got, I'm getting some camp supplies, actually. Oh, good. Okay. Mine have all been some rock. pies. This got it. Yeah. Okay. So the key opens okay. this door. Is there anything else in this place? I'm clearing this room. One sec. Nothing. Literally nothing. I wonder if this... Do you think this was populated before all the stuff went down? Oh, maybe. Like, maybe there's people in the cells or something. An arrow of fire. If there were people in here, like, I don't know how they got out, because everything's still closed. Oh, is there something over here? Hold on, I'm coming. Just hold on. I'm... Oh, there's a heavy chest. Okay. I'm still, these... I'm still clearing out the rooms. <laughs> okay, where are you? 
How do we get there, though? I just see bars. I guess we could Misty Step over? Oh, yeah. You could do that. I feel a bit weird when you can go through the walls like this. Oh, but I guess D &D, that is a, baby. That's a hint. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, there's a whole area over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Come over or is there another way to get in? Come over oh, there's here, a door big here, boy. Dude. There's a door. There's a door. Wait, you see a door? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of cheating. Okay. If you go through the bars, yeah. turn the camera, you can see a door right here. Uh, yes. Does that connect to us at all? Well, looking at the map, no. there's a big black room in the corner. So, And there's a cracked wall here. Oh, cool. Okay. Because I just saw this over here, and I also have... Hold on. Is this a thing? Hold on. I might have a thing. Okay. Okay, check. I have a spider web blocking a, a door. Oh. <laughs> We're in, bro. There's a cool. door. Okay, there's a door here. Hold on. Let's check that side too, though. Let's just check this. Yeah, so I just moved all the boxes out of the way. Cracked wall, so you'd have to bust it. Bust it. It's uh, control. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Whoa, whoa. There's a barrel there, man. I'm not going in. Torch is out. <laughs> Torch is <laughs> yeah, out. let, you let go me in. lead, eh? Yeah. I'm going to grab this barrel because I, I need to get my stock up. Okay. But now I'm thinking there might be a trap. Okay, I'm coming in. Asterion can it's lead. Still... Yeah, yeah, lead with Asterion. That's a good idea. Yeah, he can do perception stuff. No, no traps. It's a chest. We got a Nothic Eye. Combine three of these to create a suspension. Elixir of Sea Invisibility. And a Scroll of Revivify. Wow. Woo! Incredibly rare. Uh, okay. So this looks like it will take us back into that section that you saw, obviously. Do you want to check yeah. the other side before we go? Oh, and I see a door on the other side as well. Yeah, you're probably looking at yeah. the one that, that I unlocked there. Yeah. Yeah, come over here and we'll enter through here. Or at least look, and then we can decide. That's cool. I like... Okay, so that's cool because There's, A, yeah. wasn't a perception check, and B, there was like hints that stuff was there. They had all these boxes stacked up on both of these things. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice that over there. Yeah, all those boxes were in the way, right? Yeah, exactly. Wow, okay. Yeah, you really got to pay attention, eh? Yeah, here we have a cracked wall. Does this, does this look the exact same as what you saw? Yep. Pretty much. Okay. You want to bust Just it? A crate. Yeah. I thought it looked like a little cat hole, but... You know, everybody loves a cat hole. Oh, I just noticed the smoke powder barrel there. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. Asterion, lead! Gods are watching me. Okay, hold on. Okay, I needed those. Those are, those are the best things we've found so far. Okay. Fire wine oh, barrels. Wow. Another whole area here. Damn. Mean locks. Okay, these guys are level six, bro. Like, are we? Oh, there's an enemy there? There's three. One, two, three. They're called mean... Four, five, six, seven. There's seven mean locks. They're, they're fey and they have a fear aura. Can possibly frighten nearby beasts and humanoids. It's fey presence. Quietly. Hold on. Light sensitivity. Well, in bright light, this creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. And perception checks rely on sight. Do you have, um, don't you have like a... I have a daylight, I have a daylight spell. Yes. With Shadowheart. Get, th whip that, whip that puppy up. Um... Let me read what these guys do. Literally called daylight. Okay. While in bright light, the creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and perception checks. Okay, well, yeah. Disadvantage on attack rolls is basically what we need. Can possibly frighten nearby beasts and humanoids within its fey presence. Um, and it lasts until long rest. But it's a level three spell slot, and I only have three of them. So I could cast it to begin combat. Yeah, like how big is it? 18 meters. Right. So how does that translate in this room? Like if you cast it up here, is that like everything kind of kind of deal? Let me find it. Here it is. So we've got daylight enchant item. Okay. Enchant an item or weapon to shine with the light of the sun and dispel all darkness around it. Or sphere. Summon a sphere of sunlight that dispels all darkness around it. Maybe just a sphere in the middle? 
But if I cast it on my weapon, I can keep it with me everywhere I go. Is it still the same, um, like, radius or whatever? Yeah, 18 meters around. All right, yeah. Throw and it. lasts until a long rest. Throw it on you. Okay. Actually, would Throw this not on. be incredible to have in this whole dark area, like, anyways? Yes. <laughs> Could this have been useful hours ago? Yes. Okay. Interesting. There's a lot of stuff that it could be useful. Toss it. Um, who should I cast it on? Carlac, maybe? Well, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Cast it on Carlac. Okay. Whoa. That's serious. Cool. That is very cool, dude. And it yeah, just lasts yeah. till long rest. Yeah. Where do you see it? I don't even see it on her. Um, we'll hit tab, go to spellbook. No, no, no. I I mean, um, what I'm looking at, it should be like a status, you would think, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so we're going to fight these guys, I presume, now. Yeah, like, we could... Uh, do you want to do, like, a sneak on Asterion? Maybe... This is about as far as I can sneak. Otherwise, they're going to detect me. Because I'm right. if you sneak, you'll see I'm right at the edge. <laughs> and I'm now it's all daylight, so... <laughs> yeah. So if you even step into that range, they're going to they're going to see you probably. Yeah, which but is fine. Can... Maybe you lead, maybe lead with Karlak. And uh, do you have like a spell that you could cast or like? Um, um... Scroll of Everts Black Tentacles. Got one. Wait. Oh, this is cool. Look, he's coming to find me. I'm still hidden. I'm still hidden, bro. Keep picking him off. I'm gonna. Oh, Spell success! We're in, we're in. We're in. Oh, okay. Mean looks. Mean looks. I just noticed this um, good Fire scroll that could be right. useful. Their eyes. Uh, hold on, hold on. He said, their eyes yeah. are made for the dark. Fire and light are our friend. But we already. Yeah, okay, cool. That's why there's like fire wine barrels around. Yeah. Can you see any more of those? I only see that one right now. Okay, well, this is. Uh, this is barrel mancy time. Barrel, yeah, barrel mancy, exactly. I can't really do anything else with him. So I'm gonna actually pull back here. Oh, they they have all they rolled all the initiative, eh? Mm-hmm. They're all gonna go. All uh bonus action hide here. Try to um spread out, because we don't know what kind of attacks they're gonna do. Sure, yeah, I just I can't, like. Oh, is uh Darker just still out in the open, dude. Oh. Do Hold a on. thing. I might do a thing. What well, you you're going to want to run in there, right? So... Spike growth. Oh. Okay. Sick. And then when they get to here... Okay, now it's their turn, Ooh. right? Do your thing. They're mean thinking, locks. man. You made things really complicated for them. Good. That's my entire goal. Oh, they're, he's grouped up right by the fire wine barrel. Yeah. So you see over here, there's like an altar. This is definitely the, this is definitely the, the like culty Char. The Char, the Char thing? Okay, yeah. But see, that's what I remember. There was some kind of temple to Char. Yeah, Shadowheart's gonna love this. This is gonna be very cool. Yeah. These guys have lower int than us. Yeah, they're. I can see this. <laughs> this is why forever. their turns take so long. Well, I could Actually, use they're... dash, or I could just use regular move. Honestly, I I totally get overwhelmed, especially with Shadowheart. All the possibilities. Yeah. I get. Um, Analysis paralysis a lot. It's hard not to sometimes. That's why I, if I bring out Gale or something instead of Asterion, I'm it's gonna be like playing a whole. That's why game. I'm hesitant too. I'm like I'm really just getting to know Shadowheart really well in terms of the gameplay. I think what what, what like, I would do is um, like go and respec him and just look up like a general build for Gale wizards and yeah, just try to do something that gets me going. Here we go. Oh, okay. 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 It's uh, um, owl bear time. I'm gonna frenzy. 
I used my action to engage, so I guess that's not gonna really work here. Gotta oh wait, it. I am frightened. Cannot move. Frightened entities also have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. So we might have to fight them at range, because if you get close to them, you're gonna have to pass fear checks. Oh, really? Okay. That's what it seems like. Okay, I'm gonna throw a, um... What? Okay. Smoke powder barrel at them. Okay. I love that you can throw stuff run. that far. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit him so I can do damage as well. Okay. It's not gonna blow up, right? That's just the smoke powder. Yeah. Now you gotta light um, that. Um... Light that B. I actually can't. So I'm gonna try to reckless attack this guy. Okay. He's gonna fear me though, you think? Well, yeah, that's... Did you... You read them. Right? Let me see what happens. Yeah, see so you got the fear check there. Didn't make that big of a difference after all. I mean, obviously, but you have to understand that it can happen. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot a firebolt at these guys. They should blow up. Let me put a spiritual weapon right next to this the barrel, and hopefully they'll attack it, I think. Maybe. And then I'll move up a little bit closer. So the God, man. I'm just like, Karlak just puts out so much damage. I wonder how much of it is her and how much of it is like, um, is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That weapon. Yeah. Someone actually mentioned that they destroyed the Guardian using Karlak. Like, they just ignored all of the... the Smith stuff in the lava, and they just, like, <laughs> smashed them with Karlak. Okay, I'm just checking my range here. Okay, so 50%. So if I... What are you thinking of doing? I'm gonna brace, okay. and then I'm going to use my bonus action to hide. Ah, uh, they caught me. Oh yeah, because we're all lit AF here. <clears throat> I was just inside their range too, so I won't have advantage here. Um, but what I can do is launch some type of like special arrow. Okay. Oh, hold on, actually. Holding. That'll do. Nice. Nice little thunder arrow. Beautiful. Come through the spikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Get little mean locks. Wait, they're like the opposite of me. I just noticed. Oh, love yeah, locks, love locks, me locks. locks. Okay, so see that fear now? So I'm feared. Oh, damn. So maybe it can only happen like... Oh, they're just going back up there. Okay. Well, yeah, they probably don't want to run through the spikes. Um, You think we should just blow up the fire barrel? Do you think it's going to hit both of them? Uh, you focus on those guys, I'll focus on the one back here. No time for mercy. Oh my god, that's insane. Why am I getting, uh... I'm getting, like, a knockback potential here on my owl bear attack. It says nothing about... Oh, yeah, push the target back 1.5 meters. Oh, cool, I didn't even know that. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Okay, I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna hit this barrel. Hopefully it'll hit both of them. I'll hit one and knock them back. Wasn't as impressive as I thought it was going to be. I also have Enrage. Given to the Owlbear's base instincts to increase your strength by two and possibly make nearby creatures frightened. Uh, uses up a Rage charge. Or nearby creatures fearful. But that can also hit a Sterian. But getting my strength up would be great. But this is how I use these Rage charges. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. I also have Crushing Flight. Okay, this guy's neat. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You're gushing. Oh, gross. You got one more of those in you? Always. No. 
So now we're all feared. Entity's proximity to a mean lock fills it with fear. It will become frightened unless it succeeds a wisdom saving throw. Which is weird because I don't... Doesn't look like I have to do that check. Give me a pretty decent wisdom overall. I know, but I'm, what I'm saying is it, it's not giving... It's not even doing the check. Right. I see Asterion fail the saving throw against... Oh, okay. Nice. Um, okay. I'll take that. Little cape action. Coming in hot. We haven't taken any damage, eh? Not yet. Pretty clean. Oh, teleport, eh? When I cast those spikes growth, I, I cast it over that tree trunk as well, and I was I was wondering if it would affect the like the fallen tree trunk or the ground. Gotcha. I was hoping for both, but that was not the case. I guess it depend the level depends on the center, maybe. Could, yeah, yeah. What are these, by the way? Oh, phase. Do you have anything do you have like anti phase? <laughs> no. Uh I gotta just try the that's the spell. Damn. We're missing a lot here. Yeah. Maybe we uh, flip a guidance? Or, uh, sorry. Um, what's that thing? <laughs> yeah, I'll guidance you. Okay. That Bless. Other, that other cool spell? Bless. Yeah, what do you think about that? Sure. Are you? Oh, you're over here. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm invisible. I was so confused. <laughs> Target is too far. Oh, I can only do two of us right now. But, so I don't think that's a good play. Man, I also have attacks that are like bonus actions here. This is very cool. These guys are, aren't resistant to anything, eh? I don't think so. No. I'm going to do Spirit Guardians. It's going to hit all of them. Not bad. Big damage on a few there. Okay. It'll do it every turn, too. God, I really want to do this, but you might not like this. What are you doing? A lot of things. <laughs> uh, it's done more damage to us in this fight than the other guys have. True. Uh, okay. You might not like this. <laughs> it's going to be one of these fights. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's that thunder thing that you had to toggle? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, I can kill this guy. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling maybe a bit overconfident in this fight. Yeah, I know. Just moving around. Um, I guess I'll go. It's like I can exit. Right, I guess right here. I have to fly. <laughs> but the only place that I could go to that didn't have something on the ground is like right there. No, I, yeah, I feel you. Um, do I want to use my spell slots for this? Oh, yeah, and I'm. F I don't think so. Like, I think, I think we can just pop these guys up. I'm immobile because I'm frightened. <laughs> mm. I have disadvantage on everything because of the frighten. Uh, hold on, hold on. Mm, I can't, I can't disengage because I'm frightened. Okay, well. What can you do? I can magic missile. Seems like this could be an easy turn because you can only do one thing. These guys are <laughs> so tanky. 
Uh, that's so weak. Man, yeah. Those are must have been that really spe bad rolls. That spell is really well. No, it's just it's naturally low damage. It's it's six to fifteen total. Three darts that do two to five each. Like it's a low level baby spell. Mm, okay. Paralyzed. Okay. Okay. I might have. Uh, yeah. They're still not really doing a lot of damage, so that's the thing. No, but I can't do anything. I'm incapacitated. This, yeah, a mobile. This could be dangerous, bro. Two of us but are I paralyzed. Can, I can miss the step to these fucks. Okay. What if so we, one went down? What if we all get paralyzed? Do, do, do we lose? <laughs> Eventually, it goes away, right? Like it only lasts one turn on Karlak. Yeah. God, that's embarrassing. I know. Are you doing anything? Yep. Trying to move to spot. Just move over here. I think I should have recast it or moved it. Yeah. With the uh, sure. shadow. Art. Okay, just get in here and just do a little whack. Sluggardly. Okay, well. Fine. I don't take the attack of opportunity because I attacked him. Crit because you were paralyzed. paralyzed, I guess. Yeah. That's what it says. Critical hit. For reals. I'm still paralyzed. Oh, now I'm not. Okay. Brig! I'm gonna try this. Owlbear's Rage. Yeah, sick. DLM. Unfortunate and miss. I think I can hit both of them with this. That's such a cool spell. So good. <laughs> Have we? And when did we get that? Uh, a few levels ago. Okay. See, I always thought it was just like a one-time burst. I didn't realize it would last for ten turns. Just be like a constant nuke. Yeah, I wonder. Like, yeah, it's very cool. Nice. One more. Get him, buddy. Get him. It's over. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Good job, man. Let's don't have anything. Clean them up. Nothing? These guys don't. Gross. Nice. Oh! Covert cow. Oh, sorry. I just I just stole that. My bad. Oh my god. Sorry. Uh covert so critical. Sorry, so sorry. While obscured, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one, and this effect can stack. Covert critical. Dexterity you saving. Have in, you have shredded in shadow right now. I think, um, yeah, like if I look at his and compare this, I get plus one in dexterity saving throws. I get crits at 19 instead of 20. And then the only thing that changes is I don't have the ability to go invisible, but I have a spell that lets me go invisible anyways. So okay. it's, I think it's better for me to actually take this. Short rest? Um... Yeah. Hold on. We also have this Grim Skull helm. Uh, it was the one that Lazale was wearing, so people can't be critically hit, resistance to fire, and Hunter's Mark. Like, so should somebody be wearing this? Almost... I have Haste Helm, which is really good for Karlak. Okay, I'll actually just wear it on Asterion. No, I think this is better. Okay. But, yeah, yeah. No no crit seems incredibly strong. Oh, but it's it's uh, heavy armor. And then I have Wapira's <sighs> Crown on Shadowheart, so that uh, heals an additional one to six hit points. Which we're never really casting anyways. But can she wear heavy armor? Sorry, it's... No, 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 no. Yeah, so... It's when healing another, she gains one to six HP. So what's the downside here if I'm not proficient with this heavy armor? Like, what's what's happening? Like, does it mean I'm not take, getting any of this stuff? Represents Try whether you're hit. trained in any weapon type, tool, or skill. Provides a bonus to associated roles, making you more likely to succeed. But there's no roles for this. So I think... 
I, th I think I can use it. Okay, so I'm going to use it. I think I'm going to go back to the circlet of blasting. Watch the shadows. Instead of? Instead of the healing one? Yeah. Because that Scorching Ray is good because it can hit multiple targets as well. Yeah. You don't have a ton of uh, spells that do that so far. So over here we have a Last Light side entrance key. Do you want to... Where are we at? Okay, maybe we... Let's take a little cliffhanger break here. And then okay. uh, when we return, we'll investigate this little uh, Shar culty temple thing, I guess. Yep. And, and then... there's that other area behind, uh, behind yeah. the cellar. Yeah. Yeah, that'll just take us back in through the other path, right? Yep. Yeah, so cool. And then we'll go, what? I guess meet Halson it's by the lake. He shore. wanted to do something critical but difficult, I think he said. Yeah, by so the water. We'll, we'll go find him. All right, cool, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, wish us luck. We'll see you soon. Bye.